Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a reactor toy car. It's going to look pretty much like this. We have this car which also follows this road and it well it falls off at the end. You can download the starting and the finished scene from our website visualnights.com. So let's get started. I already have this very simple road. It's called road. And we have this box which represents the chassis. And then we have these four wheels which are just simple cylinders. Let's create a rigid body. And also create a toy car. Okay, now that we've done that, I want to tell you something about this icon here from the toy car helper. As you can see you have this icon, we have this little arrow here. That arrow is going to indicate the direction the car is moving. And you can see that when I push this button on and off you can see that this arrow, well, key here is being removed. Voila. So switch to top view and go to that, uh, well, your toy car helper. Click on chassis click on the none button here and select your car. That's done. I need to move that a little bit closer. That's better. Alright. Now with this toy car helper selected click on add and add your four wheels. Now we have the chassis and the four wheels. The allow wheel penetration button is really important here. Um, this selection here uh, says, well, if those wheels are penetrating the vehicle, we don't want to have that um, interfering with our animation. So that's why we have this selected. I've set the velocity of the spinning wheels to 10 and the gaining to 5. Um, you have to play a little bit with those values because, because they can differ per scene. We're pretty much done with this modifier here. All we need to do now is go to the rigid body collection and add every object. Sorry. Do not select the rigid body collection itself or the toy car reactor helper because otherwise you will get an error. Right, almost done. Select your road and go to the property editor. We don't want we don't want to have a mass for the road because we don't want to uh, want the road to fall down and we want to have the concave mesh. Select your chassis. I've set uh, a mass of 50 for the chassis itself and set the mesh convex hull. For the wheels, which you should select all four, I've set a mass of 5. Now, in my experience, I've always have a lower mass for the wheels than for the chassis itself. Those four wheels together have a mass of 20, and that's lower than the um, mass of the chassis itself, which is 50. Keep, in, uh, keep that in mind if you're working with the toy car reactor helper. We're pretty much done now. Let's see how this works. The car, play, and there we go. There goes our car. Very nice. One other thing I'm going to show you. Um, you probably have some problems with the setting of this scene. Your car seems to like jumping off the track or it just disappears. Well, I had the same tr uh, same problem and I did this to prevent it. I go to the utility tab, go to reactor and change your world scale. This is the default value. Change it to 30. That did the trick for me and it, well, I'll show you what happens when I leave it to the default value have the car here, but when I press play, whoop, whoop, my car is gone. I don't want that. So you have to play a little bit with those values, the world scale or the collision tolerance, and that way we'll, you'll get a better simulation. Well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Once again, you can download these starting and finish scenes from visualnights.com. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll see you again and goodbye.